All right, here's the seats I have right now. They got paint on them, but that's, I'm not really worried about that. I could get that off, but they got this problem here and they're looking pretty ratty. And I have this, I think it's a pewter color interior. I don't know, but I ordered some new seat covers and I got the cheapest ones I could find. I know I'm jumping ahead. I'm gonna show you this stuff on the next seat over as we do the interior remodel on this truck. But uh, I wasn't gonna film the side and I decided, well, I better maybe film it. I don't know if you can see, the colors are quite a bit different on these, of course, because they're cheap, right? I mean, it doesn't look that bad, really. It doesn't look that great, but it's, you know, maybe in the video it looks all right. But, you know, these are, I don't know, quite a bit different. But that's okay, because, you know, it's an old truck and I don't really care. I'm not going to get a new truck. You look at the price of new ones, it's just going to keep going up. So anyway, I want to show you what I did. I had to pull off these plugs. I had to take this seat off. There's only a couple of plugs in this one. I guess they're in different places on all of them. This one here, this one here. Yeah, I put one little dangler down here. But one of the things you, when I, when I want to show, one of the things when you do these seats is uh, the driver's side, especially when you get in and out of it, a lot of times the foam's really squishy. And what it was going on, it was worn on the inside of the foam. So if you... You know, you could just squish this side really easy, and this side here was real firm. You can buy brand new foam if you want. But what I did is I took this tool right here, chain little chain, mini chainsaw, and I just cut it in there. You can use any kind of saw. You can even use a tack saw blade, and it'll cut through this foam real easy. But I just used that, cut a, cut a groove in here, and I got this nice stiff foam, regular one-inch stiff foam. And just shoved it in there and now it's still formed has the same form but it's nice and thick it was down kind of low and uh, i don't want to put the new seat covers on and have them wrinkle right here because then it'll just they just won't last as long so anyway so i did this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some of this scrim here okay and i'm going to take this and lay it over the top of that Try and get the seams down real tight and just glue it over that so that it's just nice and firm. Then I'll get an extra quarter inch of uh, this quarter inch scrim. Put some of this over that. And then uh, I'll show you what I got when I get done with that. I don't know if I'll film the whole process on this seat, but maybe in the future on the other side we'll do more filming. All right, so I just took uh, some of this good spray glue. This is not, this is regular upholstery supply stuff. This isn't, you know, get that at Home Depot. You got to go poultry supply. So I got some of the poultry supply glue. I may just cut that a little bit. Let me do that. All right, so we got this all ready. I just uh, put this over that because that yuckiness there. I, you can sand it and stuff. Get some good, like a, a grinder or something like that with some 40 grit or 80 grit or something and kind of grind it off and make it look smooth again if you want to do it that way. But I just put this over it because it already has like a cloth on it i didn't want to take the cloth off i don't have any of the regular just foam so let's just do that and then uh gives it a nice new firm feel on this side so it should look good let's put the new seat cover on Well, I don't know if this is leather or vinyl, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. Way better than what it was, right? But you can see the wrinkles in here. I took a little bit of steamer to, to this. Took my steamer to it. it. It could use 
a bit more time with that thing and also some time in the sun and vinyl when it gets in the sun i don't know about leather what this is probably fake leather i'm sure for the price i paid you know 100 bucks that's including shipping by the way um yeah you know if it it'll stretch out if it's vinyl and it gets hot when vinyl gets really hot it actually and then it cools back down it shrinks so it'll just start shrinking its way on here so over time that'll actually start to look better but if you just take a steamer or a heat gun the heat gun you got to be really careful if you put too much heat on it it'll burn the vinyl and you won't be happy then but if you just get a little bit warm you got to just wave that sucker over it and move it away and wave it move it away and touch it make sure it doesn't get too hot you know pat on it a little bit and see where it's at if it gets too hot well you just cook it try a spot where you can't see it figure that out first you know somewhere underneath or something like that if you want to try using a heat gun but the steamer doesn't damage it as easily you can if you just hold the steamer in one place it'll it'll burn it too so anyway that don't look too bad i'm happy with that looks a whole lot better than that garbage look at that that thing's just it's all faded it's been spray canned and even this has too i guess kind of weird looking color on that but i don't know what it was originally but it's a little off but it's not that far it's pretty close i mean it's, i'll work with it all right to get these off you just kind of pry like right here there it is kind of hard to do with one hand but There it is, way across the room. Perfect. They just have these kind of little clip things on them. Now I got to remove the seat belt, so I got to take that nut off right there. Just I just pried this little cover off right here. It's got clips that look like this here. I just use a screwdriver and pry right on the edge of the clip, not on the plastic, on the edge of the clip see that let me get you up close so you can look at it yeah, right on the edge of the clip there we don't break it all right it's off I went ahead and clean that I got to clean this whole inside of this truck too she's a bit neglected again off camera I unhooked this this is just like one hook hooks over the other one and just to, to use a screwdriver it's not easy but it comes off it's not too bad then I got these little there's like little pins down in there I'll show you when I get it off hey just like these type of things you can buy new ones if you want they're not cheap not expensive they have them like a right out of parts in the little section there but I can reuse those two of those one on each side now you can roll off these seat covers, but you got to really push on the foam and get it to get it over this larger area. Um, so rather than do that, I think it'd be easier just to cut them off. So you have to un reach up in here and carefully take off the Velcro because that's what's holding it right now. So re reach up in there. There's Velcro here, here, all the way up there. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it back to get that armrest off. And the reason I'm gonna cut this off right now is to get that armrest clip off because it's kind of difficult to do by just reaching up in there. And these are toast anyway. So it's much easier just to cut them off. Now, the reason I cut that off is it's so much easier 
to get back in here and remove the there's a little rubber band behind here and a clip and what you do is you remove this okay and then the rubber band get it unhooked on the other end so right here it's like a little o-ring all right remove that and then there's a clip kind of like if you ever had a General Motors door panel clip off I need my reading glasses just so I can see here like a General Motors door clip is what it is and then I got my needle nose and just hang on to it real tight because it can fall down in there and it's kind of hard to get out of there but that looks familiar to you that's like a General Motors door clip from the 60s they didn't change much did they so you take this off and uh, I'm gonna clean this before I put it back on of course what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this right back on. Okay. The reason we're doing that is because the new one, see how this is round into here? Once you get the seat cover on, all you do is just push this in the hole. So you just make a nice small hole and push that in there at the very end. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put this and the rubber band back on. The rubber band just goes over this clip like this to hold it so it won't flip off of there that's all it does so anyway we'll put that on pretty self-explanatory once you get in there if that's what it looks like down in there if we can get a good view of it the clip is there and then the little rubber band is around it down in the hole so that's going to go back on we're going to leave that alone from here on out. We're done in there. I was going to put the seat cover back on. Put the new seat cover on, and then we'll put this on at the very end. The trick is, is getting the seat cover over. So the next thing I got to do is cut the hole for this. And that's done kind of, just cut a really small hole is what I'm going to do. Okay, this is all how I'm going to do it. You all do what you want to do. And this isn't a how-to video. This is Mike doing his seats. And if you want to learn from it and do your own, that's fine. Um, you know, but it's not me telling you how to do it. You do it however you want. So anyway, going through the hole, uh, I'm going to make take the new seat cover, kind of stretch it over this little area, okay, with the seat belt here. And I'm just going to poke a small hole in there. And then... Uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do here in a minute. One more thing, just be careful when you're cutting the seat off. There's two sets of wires. I don't know, maybe your seats are in different places, but the ones in mine are right here. So don't cut through the wires. Just be real careful. You know, don't be stupid. Yeah, if you need to be stupid, that's all on you, man. I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. All right, so here's how I'm doing this part. Putting this on. Pull it down nice and tight. See right there, that's where my seat belt hole is. So I'm gonna poke a hole in it. Use a razor blade, but I'm going with scissors. I'm going in. So see how that's nice and tight against here? That's how I'm doing it. And I figure I'll be all right just doing it like that. And then I'll cut it open bigger because I know I'm gonna be a little bit off. Because by the time I put this thing on here nice and tight, uh, that's going to be off and to get it nice and tight you have to hit it with your palm and knock it down Normal seat install stuff. If you've ever done seats before I've done You know upholstery, so it's a little different for me maybe than you guys So you beat on it with your palm or your hand get it hot beat on it and That helps you get it in there, so I'm going to put this in like this Stretch it over it. 
Got to get that buckle and all that stuff through there. A little tight. Anyway, I'll just work with that hole right there. That's where my mark is. That's the center of it. And I'll just work, just get just enough hole to shove all that stuff through. It's going to be, see, I have to shove it through sideways and all kinds of stuff to get through there. So I'll bring you back in once I do that. It's going to take me a few minutes. Right, I'm going to show you guys the methods to get this thing. Right now, this thing's twisted a little bit. So you kind of have to push down on the foam and roll it. And then grab it. And when you hit it, it kind of pulls it and sticks a little bit. It's just that. That's the method. I'm not going to show you guys the whole thing because it's just like this is literally sometimes an hour just doing this part this is with all seat covers too when you put them on same thing here you got to get that wrinkle this all out of here because it's got to go down further so sometimes you know I mean it's not like you know, these other videos are showing like, wow, look how easy it is. It just goes right on. And maybe it's their seat covers. These will fit. So you might buy them and go, oh, these don't fit. Oh, yeah, they do. You got to make them fit. It's the way it is when you sew them yourself, too. You got to fit them. So I do TMI all the time. They're the same way. So we're going to work this wrinkle out as much as we can and then after I'm all done and I get it all hooked on there everything's in place then I'll get the steamer out and uh, try not to pull the seams too much but it just kind of work its way on and then after I get it all situated where I know I can hook up these two clips together which right now there's no way in hell I could do it I've got to get it down further so I'm gonna be it's a very heavy seat to tip it up hit it more on the sides hit it on the front finally when it gets where I think it'll go in place and now this is you can see I'm wearing a sweatshirt it's better when it's warm because if it's warm this vinyl is nice and warm this is gonna to want to form to this a little bit easier and right now it's a little tough to do you can move it inside the house if you wanted to. Um, anything like that makes it a little bit easier if it's warmer area. So, yeah, it helps a little bit there. But I'm just showing you the methods. You can work with it, pull on it, twist it, pull on it while you hit it at the same time. It'll you'll see it'll start to move. It moves real slow, but it will move. And you finally will get it on there. It just seems like it won't when you first start working on it. Talk to you a bit later. I've been working at Winkles on the other side, doing the same thing. Uh, now I'm doing this side, so I'll pull on it and then push up and rub. It's not easy. It takes a bit of time, guys. It's not like other videos I'm watching. They just showed these things go right on. And I went, I know that's not going to be the case. Boy, you can... And they'll be like, oh, that's because our seat covers fit better. Uh, not buying into that, really, but I want them to fit tight, right? I want to be a little tight than too loose, and you got ugly looking, wrinkly seat covers. So maybe they do fit better on theirs, but this is how you normally put on a seat cover when you sew it yourself. 
So it's usually, these seat backs are always tougher than the uh, seat bottoms. Seat bottoms are always easier. I've sewn a few seats, I'm not a upholsterer, but I've done enough to know seat backs are always tougher and it's just you just you don't even feel like you're getting anything done an hour later after doing this and being tired and everything else all of a sudden it just goes on you'll be surprised it that way, working it this way, pushing the seams down where I need it to go, need to go that way. So that's what I'm doing. And of course with this little uh, headrest bump, I knew that was going to be tough because I have done seats like that before when the headrest is a little bit smaller, rabbits, Volkswagen rabbits and stuff like that back in the old days. TMI seat covers, trying to get them over the headrest. It's always the toughest part. So it's the same way with these. So anyway, well, I'll see you guys in a couple hours until I get this right. And we'll see what it looks like. I'll bring you back in, but I just want to show you guys the methods that you use to put on seat covers. And this is for all seat covers. So if you're thinking about buying a TMI set for something, then you're gonna find the same thing with them. Trying to get them on, trying to get them, get the seams right and even. That's how you do it. You just keep working it, pushing the seam, pushing the, stretching it. Okay, I don't know if this is leather or vinyl, I don't know. Feels like leather, but who knows? Some, something. For a hundred bucks, I don't expect leather, I'm just saying. I, I mean, and doing this thing, this seat is so heavy, it's a tough seat to do. But you know, hey, a hundred bucks. The one I'm saving. If it wasn't a hundred bucks, I wouldn't be doing it. How would you just like I can't do it? So anyway, I don't know if you can see any difference between when I started, probably not, but like I said, it's a couple hours work to get them hooked up. And then once I get it finally where the wrinkles are down pretty good, then I'll work on the Velcro. I want to have it down where this fits. I know I can get this to hook up. It's going to be a fight still to get a hook up on the bottom. And then I'll reach inside and I'll do the armrest first. And then I'll pull it down as far as I can and start here. I think, think they show starting in the middle. I think I'll pull it down and start up in the very corner and work my way down. That's the way I'm thinking about doing it. But, you know, some other videos guys show that going in the middle. Maybe that's their seat covers, the ones that fit looser, which I don't want. I don't want the loosey-goosey, wrinkly seat covers. I want nice tight ones. And I'll get that other one a little tighter. I'm gonna, on the bottom edge, I'm going to use some hog rings just to hold it because, you know, maybe this plastic stuff isn't as good. So I might just use a couple hog rings on there. Kind of the way we do seat covers before we have these modern cars. All right, bring you back in. Things I forgot to do, it's a basic upholstery mistake, um, is when you're putting this thing on, think that you're going to stretch it a little bit further than what you did. And cut the hole a little bit higher because I cut it too low and see I got this but the seat belt goes right there over it it's not a big deal but um, yeah another basic upholstery mistake is you're gonna be stretching this thing on it's gonna go on further than what you're gonna get it by just holding it on there and I should have cut it just to put my slit up a little higher. Anyway, we'll just live with that. Now the trick is, next thing we're gonna do is get 
these things hooked here. So I'm not even going to push these in. What I'm going to do is real quick, I'm going to reach up in there and I'm going to feel there's these little Velcro things here. They hang down. And I'm going to make sure that they're hanging the right way evenly so I can feel where they're at. Like I reach up in here and just make sure that they're not like folded to one side or the other. And then uh, so that I can just push it down into the groove once I've hooked this thing. Uh, because what I've found is with from just doing this type of thing before, like I said, I'm not an expert, but you know, I've done this a little bit. Um, is that if I try and hook them in now, they're probably not going to be in the right place once I get this thing hooked because it's going to be tighter and then I'll have wrinkles like in here. So I'm going to try to do it this way. So let's see how it works and I'll bring you back in but, uh, to get this on. I'll show you a couple things. I use this kind of system here, but if best, if you have one of those real nice wood clamps, the, you know, to hold this down when I do it by myself I'm trying to squish the foam to make it a little bit easier to get these things to hook because you're gonna find it feels like a million miles you have to push that thing down to hook it and you're gonna think yeah, I'm gonna rip the stuff but maybe I'll move this up a little bit more I want it to squish this down squish down that foam and what that's gonna do is then when it releases uh, the foam will be used to, you know, it'll make it a little easier to hook it on there. Because I don't have two people. Just some ideas. You can use your imagination, maybe come up with something even better. Um, but like I said, the one of those wooden clamps, the big, big ones with the jaws sticking out, would probably work better than this. I just take it as tight as I can get it and I'm going to take this down a little bit further and see if I can get it down to where I think I can hook that by myself as uh, trying to hook this right here we're gonna put a screwdriver in this groove right here to get some leverage and then grab onto the other one somehow and hook it onto the other side so it's like a one hooks on the other. I'm gonna flip that one over and then hook it on. So I'm gonna start at one side. I'm not gonna start in the middle. I'm gonna start at one side and work my way over and just hook that on there a little by little. And that'll stretch this even tighter. And then I'm gonna beat on the seat cover some more once I get it hooked up then I'll start doing the massaging to the sheet cover some more until I get it lined up and then I'm gonna push in these grooves so I don't do that till I get all done I'll take my fingers and just push these in push this side in push this side in and then push the middle watch guys start in the middle and go out maybe I don't know I think it might be better if I'm working on this end and kind of pushing down you can see all that start at the top and kind of work my way down and then start at the top work my way down and pull out pull out both ways pull out this way pull out that way pull it nice and tight and then put the middle in and then work my way out and then work my way down so that's what I'm gonna do it all right we'll see how it looks after working at a little bit I'm realizing I got to push this in ahead of time so I just reach my arm in here pull it nice and tight and put this in to the velcro down in there it is a stretch so it's gonna have to be worked on a bit here like that until it all goes in I'm gonna have to like push way down on this thing to get it to stretch into that groove so it'll be nice and tight So anyway, it's a bit of, like I said, doing this stuff, you push here and then reach your other hand in, get, make sure you're in the groove, like push here and then line it up, push it down, 
make sure it's in there. If you feel where the groove is, make sure you're in the right spot. And I'm pushing way down this way as I go too. Make sure it's nice and tight. So I get this as close as I can down there. It's not wanting to line up. Let's see if this one's lined it up here. It's never as easy as it seems. Push it way down here. You have to pull that up again and then put it back down. A lot of energy expired right here. Just trying to get that in there. I just keep working that way. My bench isn't the best. That's all I got though. I don't have any room in my shop for tables. So I gotta use what I gotta use. So anyway, that's how it's going. Just kind of working it way down. I'm gonna push this thing from right here down in the groove. It's top to bottom and uh, all the way even across. As I go, push on the foam so it compresses so it'll go down in the cracks and then when it releases it'll look nice and tight and then like I said these little wrinkles they'll go away it really doesn't take much for those to go away so a little bit of heat throw the car out in the sun in the summer almost every time they'll be gone so anyway here's a couple items I tried to work this out I've got here a ratcheting tie strap going around the seat to this hook here and I got one of these little plastic hook things. And I got it started. And then what I'm gonna do is just uh, do this here, just to hold it in place. When I'm gonna move it along, I was trying this with some uh, bailing wire. I just drilled a couple holes just to hold it so I could do it by myself. And you had two people, probably you could do it, but two very strong people one pushing down on the seat really good and uh yeah that would you know i can't get two people here so i gotta do it myself somehow so some of these things these are from harbor freight these little hooks i got a few different ones i just bought everything they had I, gas to go back and forth cost more than the tools cost all right, so I'm going to try and reposition this thing. I'll try and let off the pressure, move this thing up a little bit, and try and just do little by little along there, see if I can get it to work. All right, so I was able to get it hooked here. That's good. And I'm just working my way along. I just keep moving this pick along here and getting it nice, keeping it in place, and then using the screwdriver to push it down. Just I just can't do it right now because it's, underneath here right so I need to move this down further and I can push it down more slide the vice grips along click it in as I go so it seems to be working it's gonna take a while but it's like I said I don't have anybody else to help so that's how you got to make it work all right that seemed to work it should work really good it was a pain but it took a little bit of time to do but if you were by yourself you could do it one of these little yellow tool sets from Harbor Freight and one with a sharp angle on it. I wanted one that was completely hooked over, but they didn't have that. So they had this and it kind of worked. It better if you made, maybe if you made one, just made a little a flat hook and then hooked it on there, pulled it with the ratcheting tie down. Worked really good. It got it. You could feel it snap in too. It snapped all in place all the way along. You could feel it kind of going in and it was staying over here. Then what I did to re, uh, reassurance here is I put a hog ring 
on each end just to hold it so in case it starts to come loose it'll just it won't you know it'll hold this together that's on there pretty good those hog rings they're just pinched in there just pinching the two layers together it's got one on each end I'm gonna do that on the seat bottom too that'll give me some insurance I mean even my original uh, seat bottom was unhooked on the bottom so uh, I'm gonna put some hog rings on it you know on the plastic just to hold it in place so it won't fall off very easily all right let's get this thing put together yeah that was a bit of time there it took me plus I used this thing to get me started uh, this works pretty good you can leave a little dimple in there too it might come out later but I'm not that worried about it for me if you're really worried about it then you do something different use the wood ones or whatever these are what I've got see that little dimple right there I already knew it was gonna do that so but that's no big thing that'll actually come out with some heat you know a little bit of heat and it's down very low underneath the armrest in the middle of the truck so it's not gonna bother me so anyway let's get this out of here let's get this uh, armrest on so I'm gonna restretch this and put the velcro the velcro is right here uh, so I'm gonna pull that a little bit tighter and then put the velcro on this one here the only thing I noticed on these the other nicer one the original one had like a cloth or something right here but so when you put that armrest up you don't see it so who cares it's gonna look a whole lot better than it did anyway let's finish it up okay I put this in again I showed you guys the things there I think then I'll show you I'll just uh, like velcro this all in that's all velcroed in I did that I pulled it down as hard as I could get you guys back a little bit so you can see and uh, pull this down as hard as I could and push it in and wrapped it around as much as I could just kept stretching it and doing a little bit it started at the top and worked my way down evenly to the bottom and I got it pretty good I mean that's really those wrinkles a little bit there will come right out if with some heat gun we'll maybe we'll try some heat gun on it I, I tried the steamer it didn't seem to work that great uh, but usually it does but it didn't right now you just have to do a lot of it you have to spend a lot more time and uh, you know daylight's running got short days right now so I don't know how much of that I'm gonna get in here so anyway I'll let the Sun do it once it's in the car it sits in there for in the Sun for about six months or so it'll it'll stretch all out it'll be perfect you won't even see it these little bit of wrinkles here will be gone all right Look at this. I put the heat gun on here and got rid of all that wrinkle in the sides. <laughs> Look at that. It looks like brand new. I mean, the quality seems like it's pretty good on these. You know, it doesn't seem like it's crap. Use decent thread and stuff, but you know, you know, that's a hundred dollars. But you know, I'll take them. They're fine. Another five years or ten years, I'll probably do it again. 
another hundred bucks can't beat it just the colors a little off that's the main thing so somebody's some guys will be real picky about that and say oh the colors off and you know that's fine with me I'm very happy with that so I'm gonna do the heat gun on the bottom let's take a look at it it's been in the Sun but it, it ain't really helping really look yeah it's kind of diapery I'm gonna heat it up I'm also gonna uh, hog ring pinch these down with the hog rings I don't care if there's a hog ring right here I don't care maybe you do but you're not gonna see it it's underneath the seat the seat goes down it's gonna be way under there I'm gonna put one right here right here right there right there I'm put you know six of them on here and then uh, we'll do that real quick I'll show you I don't know if it really helped much maybe maybe not it, it, I was hoping it was gonna pinch the keep the plastic pinched it did on the seat bottom a little bit on this bit I'm just gonna leave it that way it's fine and I did these ones down here because this one seems a little bit loose you know it wasn't that tight so we're just gonna go with that and then uh, get this thing reassembled take a look at them look at with the old one and I think we're about done I'm just gonna uh, heat gun this other side and we'll look at it real quick and then we'll put them together That pretty much took the diaper right out of that, didn't it? I mean, I can do a little bit more. I think that's fine. Definitely can live with that. This part you can't see. It's right next to the inside, so I don't care. This I can probably get out if I just keep working it. And do that to it. Get it hot. Well, <laughs> it's hard to do when it's hot. You got to get gloves on. And then just do that while it's hot and play with it. and It'll go away if you really... Really, you can't live with it. You probably could fix it, but I'm fine with everything I'm looking at right there. That's fine. All right, let's look here. So, would you rather have that one or that one? Yeah, I'd say the one on the right looks a little better, wouldn't you? <laughs> when it's in the truck, it's going to look really good. So, it's... You know, just a few flaws in it, but uh, I think you can't see anything on the bottom, can you? There's no way you'll ever notice those little hog rings on there. And then this, this seat's all the way up right now. So when I bring it down and underneath, like it usually is, it goes down and it goes back a little bit. So, yeah, it's all the way up so that you can get it out. So in order to get the seat cover off... I guess I didn't do this one, did I? Uh, you bring the seat. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. I brought it up and then tilt it all the way up so it's easier to get off. But you can see the old ones. Look, the, the thing had already come off. That thing wasn't even holding on there. So that's why I put the hog rings on there to keep it, kind of clamp it a little tighter, keep it to stay. Yeah, you can see that's a big difference. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and do the next seat. And, uh, yeah, I think that one's looking good. And then we're going to continue on and do the headliner. So definitely come back for the headliner. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that, uh, the headliner, doing the headliner on one of these trucks. It's really not hard. You just got to get all the old foam off. That's the biggest trick. And it's really not hard to do either. And you can wire brush it by hand, but I'll show you a better way in the video. Talk to you in the next one. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and hopefully you enjoyed this video.